Hello everyone, this is Alejandro Cremades and today we're going to be talking about what are preferred shares. So there's different types of shares that you're going to have to encounter when you're a startup founder. You're going to have the common, you're going to have the preferred, but what are the preferred shares and why are they given to investors? So in today's video, we're really going to cover it. We're going to break it down for you and we're going to give you all the insights. So with that being said, let's get into it. So knowing your stocks and the types of shares is critical because it's not only about the type of exit that you're going to do, meaning like who is going to acquire your business or what type of acquisition that's going to be, but then also what's going to be your personal exit. Because in many instances, you see so many companies that have raised so much money, but that end up the founders with absolutely zero. So you need to be very careful and structure things the right way so that you don't end up basically are basically stuck holding the back. So basically that's why you really want to know your shares and understand the different classes and in this case why the preferred shares are so critical. So in terms of what are preferred shares, so you're going to have two types of shares essentially as a startup founder. So you're going to have on one end the common shares which are essentially the ones that you give to founders, to the team, to directors, to advisors, and then you're going to have the preferred shares. The preferred shares, in essence, they're given to the outside investors that are coming in and making an investment in your business, and in essence, just like the name suggests, those investors will get preferential treatment. Obviously, the type of classes of shares that you have, they play a critical role when you are getting your business acquired especially if the valuation of the business is lower than the last valuation on the last financing round that you did. Obviously, the higher the valuation, the good for everyone, and, and everything is fantastic, everyone is happy, but when you're selling the business for a lower amount based on the valuation that you did on your last round of financing, essentially investors are not going to be happy, and really the type of classes of shares that they have are going to determine where they are in the line in order to cash out as investors. So in terms of why investors want preferred shares, I mean, it's very simple. They really are investing in the business. They are hoping to get a return over the course of time. And essentially the way that you can negotiate an exit is really going to determine how they can do and how many returns they can get out for that investment that they placed. So obviously the way that you can negotiate an exit, an acquisition, a secondary sale, an IPO is really going to determine what they can take out. And that's why the preferred shares give them the preferential treatment that gives them that peace of mind of knowing that at least even if you do a poor job, at least they can take the money out of the equation before you are able to cash out yourself with the other common shareholders. So that's why the preferred shares, there's something that really investors want just for peace of mind, especially when cashing out. So when you are choosing essentially the type of shares that you're going to be giving to investors, you are going to need a corporate lawyer there essentially reviewing everything to make sure that nothing is going to come and bite you because those preferred shares, in many instances, they come with liquidation preferences meaning that maybe they get two times or three times or whatever that is, the amount of money back before you ever get the opportunity to cash out. So let's say imagine, you know, like they get a 2x uh, liquidation preferences and, and maybe like the, the company it's acquired for maybe 20 million and the last valuation that you did was around 10 million. Then essentially they get double, you know, the amount of money out before you're ever able to cash any money out. So that's what happens with the liquidation preferences. So that's why you want a really good corporate and securities lawyer that is helping you here, guiding you every step of the way. So we'd love to hear what you're up to and what kind of round you're dealing with on the comment section below. Also like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can follow on all the new videos that we're rolling out every week. And then take a look at the fundraising training, which is the program where we help entrepreneurs from A to C with everything related to fundraising. There you'll find like Q&As, templates, agreements, a community of founders helping each other all over the world, and you'll find tremendous value in it. So thank you so much for watching.